What's up, YouTube? Dom Kirby here. Today we're going to look at Fido again, but we're going to look at it in the lens of a Microsoft personal account. If you remember uh, our last video, we set it up in Azure Active Directory's administrator. Today we're going to take this uh, USB-C NFC style key, and we're actually just going to set it up in a personal Microsoft account. So this is a Fatian K40. Again, just like the last time, it's going to work for any Fido compliance security key you might have. Let's try it out. All right, so we are in a personal Microsoft account here. So if you just sign up for something at Outlook.com or something to that effect, the account you use on your Xbox, all that jazz, that's exactly what we are staring at right now. So what I'm in is account.microsoft.com. This is where you come to manage your Microsoft account. Obviously, I'm already signed in um, to a demo account I've created for the purposes of showing you how to do this. So you can see right off the bat, it wants us to buy Microsoft 365 family. Uh, this is a demo account, so my Microsoft 365 subscription is not here. But what we're looking for is security. All right, we'll click here and we'll click on security dashboard. Now, if you haven't signed in or you've been signed in a while, it's gonna want you to do what we call step up authentication, which is basically saying, hey, Log in again before I let you manage your security options. It's really important that services do that. But we're going to come here to advanced security options. And you see, I already have the BioPass that we looked at before added to this account. So we're going to add the little K40 USB-C model. So we will add, uh, click this little add button here. I got ahead of myself. We'll add a new way to sign in or verify. All right. And then we'll click use a security key. All right, and just like before in the Azure Tenant, this time we have a USB device again. And it's going to, just like before, really want to discuss what you're trying to do with your key here. So let's go ahead and acknowledge all that jazz. Now I've already set a pin for this key. Uh, this one is not biometric. So if this is your first time using your key, it's actually just gonna say, hey, pick a new pin. So, um, but I already have a pin. All right, it's gonna want me to touch my security key. I will do that. And then it wants me to give it a name. So this is a Fatian K40. And again, this works just the same if it's a YubiKey, a Fatian, a, a Google Titan, whatever. Um, and then we, that's it. So that, I want to point out just how easy this is, right? This is not a hard thing to accomplish, which is really amazing. Um, now, one additional option I do want to discuss on a personal Microsoft account is passwordless, okay? If I turn on this passwordless account feature, which I've done on my personal Microsoft account, the one I use every day, um, I actually can't sign on with a password anymore, which is kind of cool. But if you're going to do that, make sure you have at least two security keys, all right, um, and an app set up, and that you have one of those security keys in a secure location. So set them both up on the account stash one away in a fire safe or something like that that way if you lose your keys or whatever your day-to-day -day security keys attached to uh you still got a backup you can still get into things right so definitely have at least two security keys before you go down a passwordless journey or only using a key um, as an authenticator on something like coinbase right you need to have another copy of that so that's it let's go ahead and check out um, what we can do to sign in. So I've got a, a fresh incognito browser here. So I'm just going to go to account.microsoft.com and I'm going to sign in. Now, very similar, this is, you know, this looks a lot like Azure AD sign on, right? I've got a sign on with security key right here. I'm going to click that and it's going to want my pin. And the beauty of Fido is it checks for physical presence, right? I'm like a smart card or something. So it actually needs me to touch my security key. That's it. I am signed in. It is that easy. Now, if you have multiple accounts, it'll obviously prompt and ask you which account you want to use. In this case, I only have one. Um, but that's it. I didn't even have to type my username. And I am in my account ready to go. So go ahead. If you have a personal Microsoft account, try it out. Maybe next time we'll do one on Google just to show you that it's possible on a variety of platforms. I hope you found this informative. If you give it a shot, let me know how it goes in the, in the comments below. Thank you.